Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at a quick glance and installation of Lineage OS 23 on our Galaxy S7, the S7 Edge and the Note 7 FE or you may say the Note 7 or the Note FE. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is the Galaxy S7 running the Lineage OS 23 GSI, which is based on Android 16. And yes, this is a GSI based ROM, which means obviously this is flashable zip. You don't have to flash system image vendor side by side. This is a all in one flashable zip. You have to use the same procedure you used for one UI 6.1 and one UI 4. So you have to use the same installation procedure. I will explain everything in the installation part. Let's take a quick overview of what's in here and how it works. And I will explain all the fixes, the temporary stuff later on in the installation part. So let's take a quick glance at this one. So we're starting with the home screen. We have the trebuchet launcher, your basic app screen. You have seen this in Android 15 too. Now you have the new quick settings here. As you can see, uh, you can modify them and you can expand the quick settings. Like obviously the expanded part is the basic part where we have seen the quick settings in the past with Android 14, Android 15. But now you can shorten them and fill more space for your quick setting. Example for the modes, you can just tap it and tap this small uh, you know, you can call it as a button or a trigger thing, trigger part or action thing, something like that. And it will become a small icon. Again, you can expand it to, uh, you know, make it longer and you can also see the title. So when you have a short icon, obviously the title will be hidden and it won't be visible. But when you expand, you can, uh, you know, create a look uh, like that. And you have that for the internet, Bluetooth, and you can do that for any of it. Uh, any of the toggles and you can also see you have uh, the device controls properly uh, written so you can obviously read if there are some difficult icons which you may not be able to see then you have other icons which you might add categorized well connectivity utilities display privacy accessibility and these are provided by apps some unknown which you have aod caffeine mode so you can also add that and those icons are visible properly once you add them so let's add aod and reading mode and as you can see, you can swipe, you have seen AOD here. And you also have reading mode uh, visible. As you can see, this is a reading mode. Uh, you can directly uh, use that. Let's again do that. Let's expand reading mode, set down. And you can see here, it says reading mode. So you can set these icons. So all the icons, the quick setting stuff we have got. And this is not QPR one. This is the normal uh, theme. This is not expressive UI if you can see the status bar the expressive UI is a bit different you get new icons for Wi-Fi network connectivity and as well as the battery percent let's move into the settings app and as you can see we have the new colorful Android 16 settings dashboard looks really nice you can easily uh, categorize the apps based on the colors we have network this is the app icon which is a bit different than notification sound modes uh, related to notifications obviously modes is a uh, part of like modes now do not disturb has become part of modes and you can set different different modes driving bedtime and do not disturb has been merged inside that we have display mode dark theme we don't have proper pure black theme oh we do have which has been added with lineage OS. so as you can see you have this pure black theme which great looks great on the amulet and let's see the settings now okay so this justifies the amulet behavior and you can see giving a great look to your amulet device if you have an amulet must use a pure black to save a lot of battery now we are going to explore the settings one by one and we're going to see just a quick glance so this is the network and internet connected devices and you can see apps you have default apps uh, yeah everything you have also set and default assistant app going back we have notifications you have bundled notifications and you can configure a lot of stuff in here let's go back sound and vibration you can see charging sounds default alarm default notification you can change all the stuff modes we have already seen and it will display lock screen timeout uh, dark theme we have the lineage is live display to configure display uh, you have the reading mode and all that stuff grayscale mode a uh, peak refresh rate obviously it will be 60 hertz because our Galaxy S7 does not support a lot and we have tap to wake but it does not work and even the treble settings it does not work so yes we have wallpaper and style 
and you can see this is the basic normal uh, wallpaper and style app not the new expressive ui design which you're going to explore when the expressive ui lineage os comes up which is the lineage os 23.1 and battery and uh, yep that's pretty much the changes which you can see there are not much noticeable changes we have system we have buttons your basic lineage os options if you want to take a look quick look with us the buttons options let's go back here system profiles you can set other profiles status bar your status bar options we're going to explore all of that once the lineage os 23 version comes up or maybe the sold source built version comes up system updates obviously you don't have to play around that uh, there won't be any automatic system updates and other stuff like security and privacy and you can set uh, there we have digital well-being you can see you can see all your device info data and that was it then let's explore the about device like we haven't seen android 16 you can see lineage os 23.0 and we have october security patch and as you can see uh, the chronos kernel uh, it comes with the chronos kernel pre-built also guys the camera works in the photo mode as you can see you can click pictures then you can go into video mode also and you can click videos expect some basic camera stuff like obviously no one is going to use the galaxy s7 to shoot photos and videos in 2025 but still if you have it as a handy device then you can do that as well now moving towards the installation but before moving towards the installation i want to show you a quick fix to the brightness uh you know there is a brightness bug obviously if you use brightness handlebar from the uh, quick settings it won't work like that and only at this part it works uh, at this much brightness so you can see the handle doesn't work so for that you will have to root your device and use the m tweaks app oh sorry let me just go to the max brightness so it will be visible to you guys yes so you have to use this app all the links in the description and you have to flash magisk from twrp after booting i will show you all the stuff while the installation is there into custom controls uh, this tab won't be there so you have to add import and you have to import the json file brightness fix mod s7 s7 8 something like that the file name is you have to import it and then you will see this brightness bar you have to increase the brightness how much you want and you can keep it and you have to do this every time you log the screen as you can see the brightness has been set uh, to default but you have to do this every time so let's just increase this much of brightness you can see how bright the screen is now let's lock the screen and when you unlock it it returns to a default value so you have to set it again to this value so you have to do this workaround to use brightness or you won't be able to use the brightness at proper values so let's see you have set this now you can use the device and once you lock it as you can see default returns to the default value which has been uh, set by the system so you have to do this as a workaround to fix the brightness no other fixes are to be manually done like the uh, i guess the speaker uh, fix has already been made so you don't have to do that manually now we are going to move to the installation which is pretty easy you will need an sd card if you have sd card or otg you can use that but internet storage is not recommended because it's going to get wiped twice so now first of all you have to boot your device into tilbar recovery you can use the power menu also advanced power menu or you can use the buttons volume up the home key and the power key at the same time after powering off your device and you will see tlrp recovery and obviously aj tlrp is recommended to be installed i'm going to easily install directly from the power menu the advanced power menu into the recovery mode so for some weird reason the phone did not boot directly into recovery mode once i use the advanced power menu so there might be some issue regarding that so yeah you have to use your uh, volume button volume up the home key and the power key after the device switches off now let's move to settings let me just increase the brightness in trb mode yeah this is fine i guess okay so this is the trp screen now the first option you have to do is go to install select storage my all files are in here as you can see these are the files you will need now first of all you have to file universal repartitioner and you have to just try to flash it now let this get flashed this will auto reboot your device into recovery as you can see hold volume and power buttons until the screen uh, goes black if you want to cancel it 
Now after the device boots into the TWRP recovery mode, now you have to check for any mount errors. You can see red errors. Now those mostly are uh, attached with system, cache and data. Now for the system, you have to go to advanced swipe for system and data. Click on system, repair change file system and change file to ext4. You have to repeat same for the cache partition ext4. Now for the data partition, you have to change file system to f2fs as you can see i have already changed it to f2fs so for me there is no need to do that but then afterwards you have to go to advanced swipe after using all that uh, you know all the partitions will be normal you have to use this option this will wipe all your existing data your cache and all the stuff now make sure you in, uh, back up your internal storage all the files which you have and use an sd card while installing the rom now from the SD card, you have to flash the universal repartition, uh, sorry, not the universal repartition, the lineage OS 23 uh, for uh, uh, the GSI and it has all the vendor and all the stuff for 8.8, uh, yeah, our device, the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge and the Note 7 or the Note FE. And I hope you guys are not using the Note 7 because it's uh, not recommended, but yeah, it should be the node fe and as you can see the installation is uh, being done let's meet after the process gets finished as you can see the gsi has been flashed or you can see uh, you can also call it as a whole rom because it has everything vendor kernel and the system gsi too you have to reboot system and wait for it to boot into lineage os and this might get stuck on the uh, what do you call this splash screen or the boot logo for a longer time so you have to just wait your device might heat up so just keep it aside and wait for the lineage os boot animation to show up here we go we have the lineage os boot animation now wait for it to boot we have to again move into the tdlrp recovery to flash the no setup wizards now once you see the setup wizard screen you have to just long press the power button i hope you guys are able to see you know the brightness issue with this rom you have to power off the device it is getting shut down and put it into TWRP let's meet there as you can see guys we are back in TWRP recovery mode go to install you need to install the no setup wizard zip you can also install magisk or you can install it later i am just installing the no setup wizard zip and rebooting into system Let's wait for the phone to boot. Now, as you can see, we have skipped the setup wizard and we are directly onto the lock screen. And this is the home screen. Let me show you. Now, if you don't have a responsive, uh, you can see you don't have these back buttons and the quick settings is not getting loaded. You just need to reboot again. Your normal restart and restart the device. Now after restarting the device again, the device will work normally. Let me just adjust the brightness. As you all know, you have to use a fix for brightness. So this is, this is the brightness at maximum and this works how as you can see, you can go back, you can go to the home, you have recent apps and you can also call the notification panel. So this is how the Lineage OS 23 GSI needs to be installed and follow the instructions properly. You will be able to boot it and then you can also use Google Play as you can see how Google Play and these are the basic device apps which are present. So that is it for the installation and a quick glance at the Lineage OS 23 GSI on your Galaxy S7, the S7 Edge and the Note FE which is the Samsung series 8890 Exynos. So that was it. I hope you guys liked the video. If yes, press the like button. If not, the dislike button is also there. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos on the Galaxy S7 and yeah that's it leave your feedback in the comment section and if you need any help you can also post that in the comment section as well and guys bye bye take care see you guys soon good day